Hey guys, welcome back to MT Paradise's Cars and Collectibles. So today's video, we got the Hot Wheels box set. We got the track day set, and this thing is absolutely insane. We have the Sobar Mercedes C9, Lamborghini Isenza SCV12, the Audi or 1984 Audi Sport Quattro, as well as the Euro Hauler. So this is actually like a throwback to the original track day set. It was a Hot Wheel Premium set with five cars, and it had this exact track day logo as like the main theme of it and it was obviously race cars track day that was like the whole focus of it well now they have a whole box set and as you see like the background is like an actual race track across the back there which looks really cool but what we're gonna do is something that i honestly really do not like doing uh especially like on this channel but we're going to open this up take the cars out and check them out up close so normally I wouldn't do anything like that. Like I'm a huge believer in keeping Hot Wheels how they are and just kind of collecting them as they are. However, I do have something special coming in, I think maybe like a month or two, and it does require a couple cars to not be in the packaging to be able to display it. I'm not a huge displayer of Hot Wheels opened up, which a lot of people are, but that's not really my style, but there's something coming that I, I definitely need that Lamborghini out of this box set. And honestly, some people are selling them online for the entire price that I picked this up for. So I know a lot of people are probably wishing that they could pick this up. Uh, my Walmart actually had like, I think it was like 27 of these things just laying around. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and bust this open and take out all the cards. We're gonna throw it on the little turntable, check them out up close, but here we go. <laughs> like I said, I don't like doing this and this is an expensive set. I mean, these used to be like $25. I think they've gone up a little bit since then. So, actually, I think this is the first time I've ever opened one of these. I might try to preserve the boxes if it's if it's going to be a point, but oh well. There we go. Wow, these cars look so much nicer without the packaging on. And we can kind of see them right there already. Man, this is a really nice set in the Euro Hauler. Actually looks really nice. It's the whole bottom half is all metal and then just the top half is plastic. These are all like the metal on metal. And they have like and they have like the real riders tires as well. So these are the premium cars. Okay, so it looks like they just have rubber bands on the bottom. They just got some tape holding it in place. So let me try to figure this out. I know a lot of people are probably laughing because they've opened these before. Um, I'm kind of new to this, so let me do this first. There we go. So then you can just kind of see like every car has like a couple rubber bands holding them in place. So we're going to start with the Euro Hauler. Just going to snip these. Pull the rubber band out from around the axle. I mean, they actually secure these really nice in there. And one tire's actually popped off of the rim a little bit, so at least now I can kind of fix that. There we go. Oh, the other side's like that as well. All right, so this is the Euro Hauler. So let's go ahead. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna pop that open. You guys can see that it actually does open up there. I'm trying to get the light to. Uh, shine in so you guys can kind of see it. There's like a little raised spot so if you put a car in it's not going to just fall out right away. And it kind of has like that diamond plate you know, like texture on this and going into the whole bottom. But even like the details on top. We got the Hot Wheel logo there and this is all like raised lettering and designs which is really cool. Um, but yeah this car like the whole bottom is metal. All the decals on the side look fantastic. That black and gold just look amazing on there. Like Hot Wheels did an incredible job just with this like uh, Euro hauler, and I actually really like how they how they did this. Like, good job Hot Wheels. This one actually was a really good car, and it's kind of cool that it's in a case that I'm able to open up and check it out up close. But I'm gonna go ahead and just set it right here. We're gonna move on to the next car. Let's do the Audi Sport Quattro. And then same thing, I'm just going to pull the uh, little rubber bands out from the axles here. 
All right, so this Audi Sport Quattro looks really good. And this one does have like an imperfection on it above the rear wheel. A uh, little paint chip, but that's fine. It actually looks really good the way the logos are. It's a nice kind of high gloss to it. Got like the little stripes going down the side and then they go across the hood. Got the Audi logo there in the front. And yeah, like all the little decals look really cool. And like they actually did a really good job with this. I think it looks really good. Like that throwback kind of like Audi logo there on the hood looks really cool as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this right there. We're going to move on to the whole reason I bought this. So the Lamborghini Ascenza. So in real life, the Ascenza is essentially like the Lamborghini Aventador with the V12. But this is a race car only, a racetrack only car. Uh, you can't register them to be on the streets in real life. So when I found out this was coming to the Hot Wheel form, I was actually super excited because I love the Lamborghini Aventador. So this is like a really cool version of it in real life, but now made into a really cool Hot Wheel. And those rims that they put on it look really good as well. It's like a nice kind of deep blue color and it looks really good in the light. But all the detail on this car looks incredible. Like on the front it has like that really cool pattern. That pattern continues down like on the back and a little bit on the sides behind the rear wheels. You got the 63 there on the door. Like the wing, it's like the chassis mounted wing there on the back, which looks really cool. And I think the rims look really good. Like this entire car looks absolutely amazing. When it recently came out as a standalone Hot Wheel Premium, it looked really good in like that bright green. And then they had the chase car of it as well. So it would be cool if I could find somebody who had a chase version of this opened up. And then I could also do have a green one open. So it'd be cool to have a little lineup of all three different variants. But they have only come out in Hot Wheel Premiums. But we're going to go ahead and set that right here. And then let's go ahead and open up the, or bust out the last car. And this is that Mercedes race car, which I think this looks really cool. They gave it a crazy design as well. And all right, so they have, okay, so I'm assuming the back opens up here because not only is the rubber bands around the axles, there's a rubber band around the whole back hatch. So you can kind of see it right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop that off. I'm gonna do it from, actually, I might just go ahead and grab it and pull it off because I don't want to risk scratching the car or anything. So the wing is plastic on this. So I gotta be careful with that. There we go. Oh, okay, so it removes completely. That's actually really interesting. So whenever you remove that back, you can see like the entire engine bay. Um, with the back off, it actually <laughs> looks really wild. The wing, like the support on it is right in the middle and it just sticks up really far in the back. But this entire design looks really just elaborate and it's really cool seeing like Hot Wheels with like designs that are that crazy. Um, I'm probably not gonna keep the back off of it. I'm probably just gonna keep it with the back on. But like this thing kind of reminds me of like an old school Porsche 917, like one of the old school race cars. Like that, the way the style is, like the way it's shaped and all that. This is a really cool casting and the fact that the entire back hatch just comes completely off the car is a really cool idea that they did and then even like that pattern from the body then continues up onto the wing which this thing is such a cool casting so i'm gonna go ahead and set that right there but honestly this set like even out of the box is a lot nicer than i expected looking at it kind of through like the little window here in the package i was like okay that's kind of cool but actually seeing them outside of it looks a lot better uh, if you guys like this video, definitely go down and hit that like and subscribe buttons. Uh, I do have, like as you can see, a bunch of these Amazon black boxes. I do a bunch of case unboxings with those, and I do have a lot more coming soon. So definitely stay tuned for those. I have a lot of other Hot Wheel videos and a lot more to come. But like, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.